Hi there, it's Mr. Clark. Welcome to lesson 8.3.2 on a review of voice leading triads. So we've been looking at how to voice lead between specific Roman numeral triads. Now I want to just generalize that out a little bit in case, you know, you run into unfamiliar circumstances and you're like, well, for some reason I need to go from three to five and like, how do I do that? I don't know why you need to do that, but you know, here are some general principles. So the first way group that we're looking at is triads that move by descending fifth. Uh, the root moves by descending fifth. So like a one chord going to a four chord or a five chord going to a one chord descending fifth. So this is super common around the circle of fifths, one going to four, going to seven diminished, going to three, going to six, going to two, to five, to one. Um, this six, two, five, one, particularly common in jazz. So these are some common examples, one going to four, six going to two, two going to five, five going to one. So the voice leading principles here are that you're going to want to keep the common tone. One, three, five, four, six, one. So it's going to be the root of the first chord is the common tone. You want to keep that. And then you're going to want to resolve the other two voices by step. Three goes to four, five goes to six. So here we have five, one in C major. Here it is resolving to a 1 6, and here both of them are in inversion. And in all cases, we're following those voice leading rules. Uh, the next kind we're looking at is roots that move by descending third. So 1 to 6 to 4, 6 to 4 to 2, 2 to 7. These chords are going to have two common tones, because that's how moving your root down by a third works. Keep both of the common tones and resolve the one other voice by step. So here, if we're thinking in C major, we start in a 6 chord, we move the root down and then move the alto up. We move the root down and move the tenor up. So we've gone 6, 4, 2, 5, 4, two. And then the last category that we're looking at is roots that move by second. So 1 can go to 2, 4 can go to 5, 1 can go to 7, 7 can go to 1, 5 can go to 6. So the, those sorts of things. And here, the thing you're going to run into is parallel fifths and octaves. Um, that we've talked about this one going from four to five in particular. So you're going to want to make sure that whatever direction your bass is moving, that your upper voices are moving in contrary motion. So here the bass is moving up by step. So all the other voices are going to move down by step. Or not necessarily by step. One of them is probably going to have to skip. Uh, and here, the bass is moving down, so all the other voices are going to have to move up. Sorry. There we go. So, that's what's going on here. Go ahead and practice with this. Again, just review, but I'll see you next time.